What is break-even? What is percentage profit? And what are the differences between these two? This is a very, very, very common question which I get from many different people in all of the levels from beginners and to very experienced sellers who don't know what are the differences and how to calculate it right. In this video, I want to show you all of the uh, process and what are the differences between these two parameters and how to use it right. I'm Leo Pozin, I'm owner and CEO of AutoDS, so let's go. First of all, what is break-even? Break-even is the amount of percent of money, of profits actually, which we need to make to not lose any money. It means that we need to close all of our expenses. So if we make only break-even without any profit, it means that we don't lose money and we not, don't uh, make any profits. Profit is the actual amount of percent which we want to take to our pockets. Actually, this is the uh, money which we take back home from our business. So let's see what are the differences between these two. First of all, break-even calculated from the final price, from the eBay price, not from the Amazon's price or from our supplier's price, which we pay to the supplier. Why? Because we pay our taxes from our income. We pay to eBay the subscription from our income and we pay to PayPal also percentage of the money which we get. It means that we pay to PayPal from what we get on eBay. The profit percent is calculated from the money, from the amount which we pay to our supplier. For example, if I buy something from Amazon for $10 and I have 10% of profit, I will make $1. It's not the same if I will put 10% of break-even and we will see it on this video. First of all, how to calculate the break-even right? So we need to calculate all of the percent of the things which we uh, pay so it's the eBay fees, which is 9.15 on uh, eBay US. If you have store subscription, it's 4.4. It depends on the, on the country. But if you're an international seller, you need to check your PayPal fees plus add another 1% for the international transactions. It depends on the country. So you need to check individually for your uh, specific PayPal country. If you are from the US, and you sell only to US customers and don't have any international fees, so we just need to uh, calculate the regular fee of PayPal, the percentage fee. Uh, you need to take in conclusion the tax uh, estimation which will be in your supplier. If you work, for example, with AliExpress, you don't have any taxes, so you don't need to add it to your break-even. And other payments, for example, if I pay to gift for gift cards another percentage, so I will add it also to the break-even. The thing is that this is not exactly right. Many people do this uh, uh, thing. Sometimes it's just more comfortable, but this is not uh, the right amount. Because if I pay to the gift cards another 3%, it's not from uh, the money that I get on eBay. It's what I they pay so it means that this three percent need to go out of the profit and we need to decrease this three percent from the profit and not from the break-even now let's see how how the calculation works let's say that we have a product which price is 22 uh, 29 and the break-even is 19 the profit is 10 percent our final profit our final price will be 3097 but if we switch between the breakman and the profit, here we will put 10 for the breakman instead of the profit and 19 for the profit instead of the breakman, we will see that the price is completely different. Why it happens? It happens be because of the calculation of the breakman is from the final prices. It's from the price which we pay to eBay, while the calculation of the profit is from the price which we pay to the supplier. Actually, it's from the buying price, from the price which we purchase the uh, product. This is the main uh, difference between these two fields, between these two uh, parameters. Let's see how it looks here. So this is the example. As you can see, if I put a nine here, the, the final price will be 30.27. If I switch between these two params, we will see that the uh, prices are completely different. I will put the formula of how to calculate it for those of you who, who it's interesting for them under this video. 
But in general, this is the formula, so you can see it here. I put it here on the title, so you can see. Uh, as you can see, the break even is not taking, we, we don't take it from the uh, source price. This is the main difference, but the percent profit we take from the source price. So as you can see here, the break even is taking from another place. So this formula is a bit complicated, but I just made it easier for you to understand what are the differences between the break even and the profit. So profit is from the source price, break even is from the final price, from the sale price. I hope that it makes the things much more clear for you because a lot of people are asking how to calculate or which percent of break even should I put. I don't like this question because I really want you to understand what should be your break even and why. I hope that you like this video. See you on the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here under the video. And don't forget to leave a comment with any question that you want about dropshipping, about eBay, about break even, about anything. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.